Hello and welcome. Uh, my name is Oleg Zhurkowski and I'm the lead developer on Spring Integration Scala DSL project. And in this screencast, I'm going to show you how to get started with Spring Integration Scala DSL. And um, although details on how to get started are very well covered in the documentation, let me show it to you. Here's the uh, Spring Integration Scala homepage and here's the Get Starting Guide. So we click on it and here are all the details. So details are well covered, but you know, it never hurts to have a little visual supplement and that's what this screencast is all about. So let's begin. So in this segment I'm going to show you how to get started using Eclipse based environment. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to uh, clone the project. and the project is cloned. Now we're going to navigate to the project's root directory and we're going to build the project using Maven. So as you can see Maven uh, is finished. It ran all our test cases. You can see the output from the test cases here. And uh, we are ready to import this project into Eclipse. But before we do that, we have to make sure that we have Scala ID plugin installed. I already have it installed, but for those of you who don't have it installed, you can follow the um, screencast available on Scala ID website on how to install it. Let me show it to you. So here's the Scala ID website, and uh, they have uh, the screencast which will guide you through on how to install Scala ID plugin. Once you have Scala ID plugin installed, we can import the project following a standard import existing Maven project wizard. So let's do that. Import existing Maven project and then navigate to the directory where you clone the project. Click finish and the project is now imported. So let's try to run through some of the demos. Um, okay, so if you see those red squigglies, don't worry about it. It's just uh, some kind of a refresh problem. So the trick that usually works for me is just uh, click on the project and then project, clean, in this project and as you can see all the rest quickly disappeared. Alright, so what is this demo all about? So this demo is written as a series of test cases where each test case is a mini demo showing you various samples of what you can do with Scala DSL. The name of each test describes what it does. So for example a demo send shows you a simple message sent through a series of components and then if we scroll down we can see how we can um, do message bridging, for example, when it goes from channel to channel. We Another interesting demo we have here is various different types of enrichers, header enricher and content enricher. And um, another interesting demo we have here, obviously, the routers. And um, here we have a demo that um, uses HTTP outbound gateway and basically gets us a, a real-time stock quote from uh, Google Finance. So um, you can run them individually or you can run them as an entire test case. So for example, let's run that as an entire test case. You do run as JUnit. And you can see all the test cases are running. Um, there's also another demo, which is in the main package. Um, this is a more sophisticated demo. Uh, which emulates a order processing system and contains a more complex configuration including routers, aggregators, and the error flow. So details about these demos are covered in the documentation. Let me show you the link to that. So here's our order processing demo and you can see a diagram which describes what the message flow is and provides all kinds of details about this demo and so on. All right, that's pretty much all the time it takes to get started using Eclipse-based development environment.
So in this segment, I'm going to show you how to get started using an IntelliJ-based uh, development environment. Before we begin, the first thing we need to do, we need to clone the project. So let's do that. So the project is cloned. Now we're going to navigate to the project's root directory. And now we're going to build the project using SBT. Note that we are using SBT version 0.11.2. As you can see, um, SBT is running through all our test cases, and you can see the output from them and uh, the build is successful. So now we're almost ready to import the project into IntelliJ um, IDE. Now we're almost ready to import this project into IntelliJ. The only thing left to do is to generate uh, IntelliJ artifacts, which we're gonna do using SBT Gen IDEA plugin. So SBT Gen IDEA. That will generate um, IntelliJ artifacts required for us to open this project inside of IntelliJ. So everything went successful and um, we can see the ID artifacts. So now we are ready to open this project inside of IntelliJ. So file, open project and navigate to the directory where you've cloned the project. And here we go, the project was successfully imported inside of IntelliJ environment. Um, the only other thing we need to do is to adjust the compiler settings. And now we are ready to look at some of the demos. So this demo is written as a series of test cases where each test case is a mini demo showing you various samples of what you can do with Scala DSL. The name of each test describes what it does. So for example, we have a demo send and receive that shows you how you can execute, how you can assemble the flow that does request reply type of messaging and how to invoke send and receive. We have a lot of other interesting demos, for example, a lot of demos dealing with how to enrich the content of the message. Um, and um, here we go, here's the demos of various different types of routers. And uh, here's another interesting one that is a HTTP outbound gateway, which is actually getting the real-time quote, real quote from uh, Google Finance. So you can run them individually or you can run them as the entire test suite. So let's run the whole thing. So, uh, IntelliJ does whatever IntelliJ does, and once it's done building, it's going to run all the test cases. And here we go. So, as you can see, all the test cases are ran successfully. There's another demo. This one is a little more sophisticated. Um, it emulates a order processing system and contains a more complex configuration, including routers, aggregators, and airflow. So details about this demo are covered in the documentation. Let me show you the link to that. So here's the order processing sample demo. Here you see the diagram, which describes what this demo is all about, and some of the details provided below. So let's run this one too. This one is actually written as a Scala application. And as we can see, we have um, error reply and we have successful reply. That is because we, in this demo, we actually have two different um, types of requests to demonstrate not only the success story, but also a failure story. So in this case, we're sending the invalid order and uh, the messaging flow falls back into the error handling flow, which is described right here. 
All right, so that's pretty much all it takes to get started with IntelliJ. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, thank you, and have a great day.